What's up, fish fam? Back with another build video. Uh, this is a five gallon aquarium, and it, as you can see, it's dirted. And I'm just using some generic uh, topsoil that I got from a local hardware store. Use potting soil or even dirt from their backyard. Just make sure there's no uh, pesticides in it, and you should be fine. For the sand, I'm using a general purpose sand, and I'm using this opposed to like. Uh, pool filter sand or play sand because it has a darker color and I feel like that gives it a more natural look But you can use whatever you'd like just make sure you rinse it off really well first So the driftwood and river stones that I'm using here I collected locally um, If you're gonna do that just make sure you check your local laws and stuff because some places uh, can actually be illegal to remove uh, wood or stones or anything like that. It's, uh, it's also good practice to clean any wood or rocks that you find locally or you collect yourselves. Um, and that could be anything from, you know, boiling the wood or baking it to kill off anything that might be on it and uh, release tannings and stuff like that. For me, I, I usually boil some driftwood and for the stones, I'll just give them a good cleaning with a brush and some hot water, and they're fine. As you can see, I'll be running a sponge filter in this tank, and also the rock that looks like it's wet is wet because it came from a tank upstairs. And uh, that actually can be beneficial because everything in your aquarium is a surface for beneficial bacteria to grow on, so adding decor from an established tank could help with a cycle in the new tank that you're setting up. And for plants, I'm using uh, hornwort, just because I like it, and it's a plant that you can find pretty often in lakes and ponds in North America. And uh, now it's time to fill it up. So uh, as you can see, I'm using a cup and uh, pouring the water into the cup, because this, I feel like, uh, helps to not disrupt the um, substrate and make the tank all cloudy and stuff which you can see it's doing a little bit of but I'm not worried about that because I'll do a water change and clear it right up with no problem now I should have known better beforehand and attached all these pieces of driftwood together with uh, super glue uh, the gel type super glue but it didn't, so now I've got to deal with this. But uh, I like how it's looking so far. So now I'll do a water change and add some quick start bacteria from Fritz. And here it is. I've added some oak leaves and some tannings, and I've added the fish. Now these are uh, the new fish that I picked up recently at the Upstate New York Killifish Association uh, swap and they are the uh, least killifish. Now these are uh, the smallest North American native fish and also one of the smallest or the smallest uh, live bear in the world. And uh, they're also officially the first fish in my fish room. So I picked up a trio, uh, two males and one female, and the females are actually larger. As you can see in the front here is a female and that this one here is a male. Um, the females reach about a maximum length of about uh, an inch and a quarter, whereas the males will reach a maximum length of three quarters of an inch. Now these guys are pretty easy to care for and they will do just fine in a pretty wide range of uh, water parameters and temperatures ranging from the mid 50s into the uh, mid 80s and being omnivores they'll accept uh, pretty much any food that you'll you can give them that'll fit in their mouths. I've been feeding mine uh, crushed up flakes and baby brine shrimp and they've seemed to love that. And uh, that's all I've got for you so thanks for watching. I uh, hope you liked the video and make sure you like and subscribe.